Hi, I'm Patrick. And I'm Liv. And this is the Mach-E Vlog. And we are here at a Tesla Supercharger and we're gonna test out a bunch of Ford EVs with the next adapter. So let's go. We've done several videos with us using the NAX adapter, but we like just we know a lot of people in the area that want to try it out and see how it works for them. So we just put basically a call out in the Mustang Maki -E Club of SoCal. Check to see if you have a local chapter. Um, just to you know, meet us out here at this supercharger on a Sunday afternoon if you wanted to try the NAX adapter. We actually have two. We have the Ford NAX adapter and we also have one from a third party. It's called A to Z Typhoon. We have a video on that as well. So we, we brought both of those adapters here and just let people try it out. So one of the questions that we had was, will it work for if you don't have the update yet? Because there is a Tesla supercharger update. So we tested that out. Uh, and then basically just wanted to see it being used on a Lightning and other people just wanted to try it out uh, just because it's new and exciting. So let's go back to the beginning of this and we'll have some fun. Yeah. Well, hey, ready to supercharge? coming like making the journey both of you guys thank you Hi guys, you're so cute and you look really happy in the lightning. Oh, This is so awesome. So this is a very quiet Tesla supercharger. There are multiple spaces around me and they're typically more than 10 free spots. And so we're having a little gathering. We didn't know who would show up to test out the Tesla Ford supercharger adapter, but we have a bunch of lovely Maki and Lightning friends. We've been testing it out already and we have determined that We've determined many things. You will have to watch the video, but it's so cool being able to do this. And we're sort of testing out configurations too of like where everyone can park and still be able to charge. Uh, and we have, I'm wiggling the joystick inefficiently. So we have not inconvenienced any Tesla owners. Everyone here is uh, doing a very Tesla thing, obviously from when there were V2 stations and it would split the charge so everyone sort of staggered like one and one and all the Machis and lightnings were sort of gathering up uh, on the other side and uh, everyone's taking turns and we actually have other Machis that uh, Machis and lightnings that are out of the way so everyone's sort of trying out the charge and testing out the parking situation um, but we're all doing this quite considerately which is really cool to do so Patrick is taking photos I'm so excited because even just like here obviously that gray Machi if you don't know that is Simon from EV Vita and he installed the light up GT on a Machi he's installed a uh, lift gate I'm gonna get out of a Tesla owner's way they're probably like what is happening here um but so simon's here he actually just upgraded to a gt maki -E, and then he wrapped it it's a cyber orange underneath but now it's this gray so i i, I don't know i kind of love cyber orange but obviously that gray is really unique oh dude i'm walking backwards wait you gotta open your door again you can see the cyber orange inside that looks so nice, I love it. I would like to introduce Prancing Pony. This is Lindsay's Maki that is PP for, for short, which our kids love. So this Maki does not have the update and we have determined that it is going to work. Spoiler, Patrick is gonna demonstrate. So I already have the adapter. This is actually the A to Z adapter. But what we do is we go to the Tesla app, we find our local uh, charger and there's they're all numbered when you get to the station so uh, it says this is 4a I'm gonna go into the app and it says charge here uh, I find 4a in the app which is not too hard to do just got to scroll I say start charging it tells me to attach the uh, adapter and then I just plug in nice click 
<laughs> I hear it click, it's going blue, which means it's communicating, and then it started flashing, which means it's now initializing the charge. And I can look in the Tesla app, and it will show me the charge rate and everything. So this Mach-E has not gotten a Tesla supercharger plug and charge update, but it, it, you know, because we have the adapter, we can still initialize the charge using the Tesla app. So it it's, works nice and easy, and we can actually also do that using the Ford Pass app as well. The only thing that won't work is plug and charge. Once she gets the plug and charge update, she'll be good to go. But you can initialize the, the charging with Ford Pass or Tesla app. Perfect. And shout out to Adam, who is our cameraman right now. We're going to be testing out his mic u which is right here. Woo! One of the things that we wanted to follow up on is like the uh, checking the temperature. Uh, this is a Pixel 8 Pro, which means it has a temperature sensor built into it. It says tap to measure. I know you probably can't see that, so I'm going to do this right now. Tap to measure. It's 102.8 degrees. And this one has just done a lengthy charging session. Actually, Simon's getting ready to move in, so we're going to film him moving over here. Uh, but going back to the temperature, we were doing some charging uh, tests the other night and it looked like it was uh, like 120 degrees and I said that wasn't necessarily accurate. Uh, and this sort of shows it. I'm gonna help Simon move in. This is the one of the difficulties. You'll clear it. One sec. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, reach? yeah uh, you're not going to reach, but you're going to go over. Go up about four inches. A little bit more. There you go. Yeah, it's that's good. It's nerve wracking, but yeah, good. We keep running into this. So the Lightning feels like a bigger vehicle. That one might be harder to uh, get up close, but with the Mach-E, they can be pretty low, so we have, you have to be careful about that. But All so right. we, we, we just pause real quick so Simon can get a mic. So basically it's just insert, and then yeah. once it's inserted, you gotta make sure it's in the uh, lock position, which is toward the uh, the adapter. Okay. So, and then you just plug it in. All right. And because you have plug and charge enabled, it should be okay. Locked. And this thing is short. Yeah, it's really short. I think it should be good. Oh, there you go. And then we just always double check because that latch can come undone. How do I know if it's charging that? Like, how do I, like, is it because of the percentage? It like, won't show on the screen, right? Yep, it's flashing, it's charging. Plugged in, not charging. Huh. Right? Oh, wait, there it that's is. charging. What? That's it. I, I don't. It, it's, it's literally like I feel so dirty. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I don't know. Did, did, does this consider crossing to the other side? Yes. We're on the okay. we're, on, we're on the I red. Gave Elon fifty cents. Just, <laughs> we got the red pill. Oh, the the blue pill. This is the red pill. I, I, I do feel. A little... now, you will notice. Yeah. These are these are premium electrons from Tesla, so you'll get better range. It's not that low grade. I'm stuff. kidding. <laughs> I am kidding. <laughs> it's not the low grade electrified American ones. Yeah. I, I, I had dreams of this. <laughs> I just did you, know, you always wake up and be like, God damn, I gotta go to electrify. <laughs> <laughs> what? This is pretty neat. Yeah, you know, I, I, I will say I'm super excited. The only thing is is that um, the app yeah. In terms of showing which ones have it and which ones don't, do you know if like how like majority of them in SoCal are they all equipped? No. Yeah. Was so like, I, I, we we got a video, but I'll show you. Yeah. Uh, the the be, sort of the best that we found so far. Uh, Ford Pass is is good, but it's sort of like it mixes them all in. But do you hit the Tesla app by any chance? I think that one's still there. Okay. So I don't have the Tesla app. Woo! Then that, that I literally would have crossed the yeah. other side by then. <laughs> so the Tesla app is one way. They have a NAX filter. Okay. Uh, but also, uh, there's another company called Chargeway. Oh, for the. And I'll show you. This is what's really cool. Yeah, it the third one. And then we'll have Liv zoom in. But, um, but so I have the yeah, no, uh, we, we our car selected. 
Patrick was jiggling. Like, but then my filters, I have it so that it has uh, only compatible. Yeah. But then I select that I have the NAX adapter. So then, like, all the green ones are the old ones that we had access to. Yeah. And then all of the red ones are the, the ones that we, the, the Tesla That are compatible. That are compatible. So we're going to try and, can you see that? Green is the old, red are the new ones that we, we have actual access to. And I'll do a screenshot, how about that? There we go, all right. All right, so when you're done charging, what's, is this similar to the previous steps? So it's you basically push. just reverse order, stop, and then you uh, unlatch first. It won't let you pull it out Oh, first. you unlatch first. No, yeah, oh, uh, oh, uh, unplug first, unplug, sorry. Okay. Oh, okay. You were right. Un <laughs> okay. Unlatch. And then this part, you... So then it's, yeah. Pretty darn simple. And that's the A to Z, that's not the official one. Um, Curious. And, it, and we can, I don't know, uh, so, yeah. If you want to try the official one, we can do that That's too. all right, I'm sure sure it works the same way. But so we, it's all app. Maybe. Uh, and, plug and, and, and then also, I'm sure the screen will show it, right? So right now, your charge assist app will show them, and then you can navigate to them based on that. Uh, and you can initiate your charge okay. that, that same way. Wow. Um, but it's not in the navigation system yet. Okay. And, they're, and that's because they're like still testing and making sure this is, all of these things work. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. I, I really, really, really <laughs> like it, but I feel like I'm not supposed to. Uh, yeah. Hey, but, I, the way I look at it is electricity is electricity. Sure. And if my money goes to Tesla sure. and they build more chargers, I'm Remember, I Well, I always thought, man, what makes the experience so much better is if you have such a more better or more robust charging network. Yeah. yeah there's, you know, robust as Tesla <laughs> charging network yeah. wise. Well, I mean, so. like, we're here, there's 20 stalls here. Oh my God. Like, yeah. Electri America has one 20 stall station in the entire U.S. I was just telling Adam earlier, not only that, whenever I go to look for Electrify America, it's like a scavenger hunt. Yeah. They, they split them up. And then sometimes you have four, four, and then there's two. And the two is the one that you need to find. You're like, where is it? Yeah. Okay, so we've been doing some testing. Some of these cars have charged, some of them have it. But over here, with all the superchargers, everybody's sort of like cycling through and testing things. We're testing various things out. So we have learned a couple of things just to confirm them. But if you do not have the Tesla supercharger plug and charge update, you can still charge if you have an adapter. And there's two ways that we found to activate. I'm sure the third way will work as well. But you could uh, have the Tesla app find which stall you're on and activate the charger and then plug in and it'll start charging. Or within the Ford Pass app, if you have your Blue Oval charging network active, um, even if w without the plug and charge update, you can find the charger in there as well, hit activate and commence your charging. So that means more than likely with the, the charge assist app that's on your sync screen, you could do the same thing. So. The only thing that won't work if you don't have the Tesla Supercharger plug and charge update is the plug and charge portion. You can't just plug in and have it start charging. So great experiment out here, but also we're like giving everybody a chance to try out the, the charger, uh, the Tesla supercharging experience, as well as trying out the adapter before theirs arrives. Hopefully everybody gets there soon and we'll see. But uh, we're just having a bunch of fun. We're gonna move some cards out of the way so we don't block any uh, chargers. There's at least three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's like eight open stalls so we're not like keeping anybody from charging but we're still gonna be mindful neighbors. Um, there's somebody pulling out now. Uh, but we're being mindful neighbors. We're not gonna like block everything or anything like that. So anyways, we're gonna go hang out. Yay. Probably, that was probably Not bad. I got this on the lowest. This is like the perfect charging station companion. Like this building here where we're charging, or we're charging, is uh, unoccupied. So if I needed to run, go get some food for us, this would be like a perfect little companion. I like it. But it's also useful if I wanted to like go out on the trail, go to the park, just have some fun. I like this a lot extra electric form of transportation. Okay, no, change color. No, right? Yeah. 
That looks cool. Ooh. All right, so Adam has officially never gotten a ride in a GT Performance Edition. So he's about to be ruined forever. <laughs> he's getting a ride in Simon Sweet's GT Performance Edition Cyber Orange, so you cannot tell. And I want to bet that when he comes back, he's going to want it. Because this is his sweet first edition, Maki. He actually just bought it out, um, bought out the lease. So this is officially his, but um, I'm willing to bet that he's gonna want a GT Performance Edition. Although his ride looks pretty awesome too. Oh, hello. This is Bear. Bear, hi Bear. Oh my gosh, you look so cute. And then this is Biscuit. Bear, don't eat the camera. Hi Biscuit. Nice to meet you. And Biscuit, do you don't want to shake? Oh, there you go. Good job. So cute. Very comfy in the back of the lightning. Oh, you guys are adorable. Adorable. Mm. Look at our face. Adam is leaving. He's out of here. Okay, so you charged with the Tesla adapter. I did, it was you awesome. You had a ride in a GT Performance Edition. I did, my first ride ever in a GT. Are you messed up now completely? New charging, new car, what do you feel? Well, I'm really happy about the charging. I'm really sad that I don't own a GTPE after riding in one. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun, I kind of ruined it a little bit. Although, I gotta say, I have a first edition, so it's pretty, it's pretty powerful, it's okay. But like, the suspension, the Magna Ride, that's where it's at. It is pretty awesome, yeah. but like you said, first edition, it's literally like collector's item. Yeah, first I ever. like my first edition. I'm happy yeah. with it. She, she served me well, no problems. Oh. Just what? got the the new, I got a new uh, junction box installed last week. Oh, right. All set, I'm good to go. Road nice. trip, went to Palm Springs last weekend, no problem. So I'm happy with it, but suspension, the seats, mm. It's a nice upgrade. Uh, yeah, yeah it it's is. very nice. Low, yeah, I warned jealous. you. Yeah. I did and warn the, you. And the acceleration, of course. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Okay, so wait, what's your car's name? Jennifer. Jennifer? It's I Jennifer. don't think I knew that. No. It's Have it's you it's gotten it's a fancy Jennifer. pony? I commented once on one of your videos that I was so jealous because I've never gotten one before. That you haven't had one I've before? I've never had one before. Please hold. <laughs> I cannot believe I have not fancy ponied Adam. Here, Adam. Wait, here, you take the camera. Okay. Okay. Flippity flip. What? Okay. Yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> It'll be the luck it's of the jar, right? Ooh, I'm very excited. Pink. <gasps> Love it. <laughs> Yay. Here All you go. about it. Thank okay. you. What? What? It's my first one. Yay. You've officially been fancy pony. I've yeah. only known Adam for like a year and a half or something. Yeah, listen, I'm, I'm not. So I don't want to be like. I don't be thirsty about it. I wasn't gonna like beg for one. <laughs> so like, I was just silently sad that I had never gotten one, and I was like, one day it's okay. I'll be patient. You know, and I like I feel really bad about it. And I'll be totally honest. And multiple times after we left, after hanging out, I was like. Did I fancy pony him? No. Has he been fancy pony? I'm Never. so sorry. That's okay. <laughs> I, I would see, I, patience is a virtue. I waited and now I got my And now pony. Jennifer has her very Jennifer's own fancy pony. Jennifer's got a little pony. She's Your gonna... fancy pony has a fancy pony. Yeah. I'm so glad you came out. So how did it feel, Tesla charging You know what? Super seamless. I'm, I'm really happy. It's going to add, I mean, road trips are going to be that much easier. Now we got our choice, so it's awesome. That is awesome. And I learned from Patrick about the uh, uh, charge way. App. Oh yeah, it's really useful. Yeah, because you can yeah. see the EAs are green and the Teslas are red and you can just sort of plot it, see it on a map, so. Yeah, and you can kind of see how many more we get now too, which yes. is, is kind yeah. of awesome. And, and the fact that like if you have the plug and charge update and it's so seamless, like, it's, literally, it's just the same as EA, except without all the error messages and <laughs> broken stations. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, the last couple of EA station sets that I've had have been really good. Like, I, they're, they're doing better. They're trying. They're, they're um, definitely trying, but like, yeah, the last EA station we were at, there were only four stalls. So this is definitely an yeah. improvement. And hopefully this is just the start of like, improvement in all regard. Yes. Now EA has to keep up with Tesla, like, for sure. This is why competition is good for everybody. Competition is great. Yep. Yay. Customer thank benefits. you for coming. Yeah, thank you. Yay. All right, bye. Bye. That was super, super fun. What a great turnout of uh, four DBs to test out the Nax and the A to Z adapter. Uh, it was really cool that we just sent this out impromptu and there were a bunch of people who were really interested. Multiple people who drove really far. Thank you, Lindsay, and thank you, Eric, for coming out here to just spend the day with us. It was awesome. 
uh, to meet other people and it's especially cool to give people the opportunity to test the adapter like how it feels um, like actually plugging it into the charger and taking it out of the vehicle because it's not just like seeing how it works for the car but it's also seeing how it works for you and having that preparation so I'm glad that we got to give people that opportunity too it was a lot of fun uh, we you know we're people weren't sure if their car had the update so we we're showing people how to do that basically checking the Ford pass app under charging Google over charging network and then plug and charge if you see electrify America and Tesla listed that means you have that update if you don't have the update and this is what we tested out uh, I think on a uh, lightning and on a Mach-E uh, you can still charge you'll just have to activate either using the uh, Tesla app Ford pass or uh, charge assist we didn't do charge assist but we tried the other two methods and it worked but uh plug and charge was just so easy for everybody uh, and i think everybody was just excited that they're going to be getting their adapter soon uh, the links down below of course everybody keeps asking how to get the adapter if you don't have one in order yet we'll put links for the free ford adapter but we also will have one for the a to z adapter uh, the difference is, is the Ford adapter may not get to you until September if you don't have an order yet or later. So uh, anyways, it was a lot of fun to see. It turned out to be sort of like a gathering. We did our charging in just a few minutes. We made sure we didn't uh, block anybody from being able to charge. There was always extra spaces available. And then after that, we ended up just hanging out. Um, I believe Adam got a ride in a Mach-E GT Performance Edition. forever. <laughs> yeah, so he, he got a ride. We, we played around with our, uh, a scooter that we're testing out. So it just turned out to be a big Very chance day. to hang out with people try it out we answered some more questions uh, by the way we have another video that's like a faq of all of this nacs slash tesla supercharger stuff so make sure you check that out but yeah so if you have any questions let us know because we might do another question and answer video not just on nax but on other mach -E stuff or other ev stuff um i do want to point out that we had to be quite careful where to pick to come to a supercharger that could handle multiple vehicles and we didn't know how many Ford EVs were gonna join us and we had what eight something like that I lost something. count we had a lot we had more than we were expecting but the charger that we are at has 20 stalls uh, and it was never full and we've kept an eye on it so I think that this is gonna be something that as we in Ford EVs and as other EVs uh, gain access to superchargers is to become aware of the superchargers around you and become aware of like when they're busy and how it goes because there are multiple chargers around us that are larger uh, well there's one that's like 24 stalls and there are a couple other 20s but they are busier so we were able to come to this one and have a meetup with like eight four dbs and not inconvenience anyone at all and although we only charged two at a time because we only we had two, adapters. two at a time but there were tons and tons of open spots as you probably saw in the footage and i i kept checking the other chargers by the way in the area because i was also checking some people like what chargers are in their local area because some of us live in various spots of the town uh in socal uh so checking all the chargers and they were all busy except this one so that's something we'll uh benefit from considering and if you're on like a road trip and it's just you you're just gonna you know find a charger you're not gonna have to worry about having like eight cars show up so we're trying to be mindful of that but uh i we're gonna do another video on specifically on how to find like if you are really reliant on charging on a weekly basis in your local area we'll show you how to find ones that aren't that busy whether it's ea or tesla uh but it, it, it there's there's multiple apps multiple ways of doing that but we'll, we'll make that easy for you uh right now i'll just say you can use chargeway or tesla you have to figure it out on your own uh, but, but we'll do a video on that but uh, we had a great time we're very hungry we, we ended up spending <laughs> about three hours out here uh, eh, close we're getting close to three hours now we had a good time we're really excited about this and it was exciting to share the supercharging frenzy with other people so on that note thank you so much for joining us for this video in which we had a little impromptu meetup trying out the nax adapter at a supercharger let us know if you have any questions thoughts whatever down below 
Uh, a huge thank you to our patrons. Were you tilting the screen already? Now, now we get the patrons. Oh, and our t-shirts. across the screen. Oh yeah, a t-shirt. By the way, be, oh, be, hold on, patrons for one second. You can buy these t-shirts. Use the links below. Uh, also join the, uh, go to mock-e.org mock and join the Mustang mach -E Club of America. Uh, we would love to have you and you can find out about events in your local area. Uh, like we posted ours in our local area. Uh, what? Now thank the patrons. Now thank now we're thanking the patrons. Oh, uh, we, we already did. Double it. thank the patrons. Yeah, double. Yeah, double thank the patrons. You guys are awesome. We appreciate you so very much. Thank you to our YouTube members, and you too can be a YouTube member, and you also get interesting things like our patrons get, but different things. And on that note, we should go. So just remember that whatever you drive, whether it is a Tesla, a Mach -E, or a, a scooter, lightning. or, or a, a scooter. lightning, or, or a something lightning. else, or, or a Mach -E. Enjoy the ride. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>